Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, dear students. Today, inshallah, we'll start a new course with new series of episodes about ACT math course. Uh, we, will, we will handle the College Panda ACT math advanced guide and workbook. Okay, if anyone needs this copy, PDF College Panda, would you please to contact us on Telegram group or by email or just make a comment on our episodes and I will share uh, it with for free. Okay. So College Panda Math Advanced ACT Math Advanced Guide and Workbook. Each episode we will take one exercise from chapter exercise in this book. First exercise, absolute or first chapter, we have 29 chapter here, included answers uh, of the exercises or answer to the exercises. Up to 28 chapter, exactly, we, have, we will handle 28 episode. Okay, shall we start for first chapter exercise now. Here we have absolute value first chapter. Number one, it's uh, this chapter is common with SAT. We have this chapter as well in episodes of uh, SAT course on the same channel. So we'll start with this chapter. Okay, number one, we have this absolute three minus six minus absolute eight minus two equal what? This is very easy with or without calculator. Sure, we have sixty question in sixty minute ACT course, so would be better to make. The one question in one minute, okay? So try to handle it as fast as possible. First absolute is inside the absolute negative three, absolute should be three. Second absolute or uh, a modulus is six, absolute the same is six, difference should be negative three, answer is B. Less than one minute, okay? Less than one minute. If you have a time or need, make a double check or start from, uh, from the beginning, you have to make it with calculator like this. Shift ABS. I hope calculator is shared. Okay, shift ABS. Three minus six. If you are very fast in using calculator, would be better to do it with calculator, okay? That's all, just less than one minute as well. We'll try to do in many, many methods. Each problem, we'll try to do it in many methods. If you find anyone is not clear, please ask me to repeat, or you find any problem, need more emphasizing, more explanation, interpretation, just ask us. Also, if we know anyone, try to make it very fast as possible. Okay? So, in the exam, don't handle like us here. In the exam, don't do it like us here. You can choose a simple way and work on it. You can choose it in a simple way. You can choose it in a simple way. Okay? Which method you just uh, flash it or, or, or found it Find it very easy and very quick. Start to work with it very quickly. The same number two, we can handle it by calculator as well. So very fast like this, shift, hug, minus four branches, six, the same like we make it very fast. Branches also four and Minus three, that's all. Answer is 12 
very fast. If you handle it faster by hand, would be better to make it fast by your hand. So is, is the answer also is number B, okay? Answer, answer also is number B. Uh, also, I, I make it manual, negative 24. This is minus inside the absolute. Minus 12, so minus minus 12. So would be minus 24, can make it mentally, plus 12. This is look like 24 minus 12, but the answer is looks like negative 12, absolute value 12. We are confirmed number B. Number three, how it look like, or read it, negative absolute X equal to X. So which of the following statements must be true? Set a values for everyone and try and error. Try your assumption value. So what does it mean x less than or equal zero, zero, negative one, negative two, and so on? At zero is right. At negative one, so if we put negative one inside the modulus or inside the absolute value, we'll get one and we have already negative one. This is look like the original value, right? The same, if we set negative two, negative absolute two, would be two, and we have negative, so left hand side is negative two. Is the same like the value of x itself? Okay, so accepted number A, don't try the other. Okay, just finish it about one minute time. For B, just double check for you, the problem is ended now. Just try to check B is right or wrong. عشان بس أدربك هي صح ولا غلط. We have zero, one, two. We try this, okay. One, if x equal one, absolute one, negative one, not the same like x equal one. This is values. So not acceptable at all. Uh, this is, okay, true, x equals zero, but not enough. Okay, we have many, many answers. One, two, we have C acceptable, but we have many answers also like negative one, negative two. The most likely answer is A. Number four, we have absolute. It look like very easy because absolute value means X minus seven equal 18 or minus X minus seven equal 18. We convert this one to be here. So this one is 25 plus seven, plus seven, transitive operation, 25, wrong, wrong, wrong. So we have C or E. Here we have negative 18, make time is negative one, and plus seven, we add plus seven for all sides or transitive operation of negative seven and plus seven. So should be negative 18, negative 18 plus, Seven, negative 11 must be C. Answer number four is C. I hope it's clear. Number five, what does it mean? Number five, he would like to make a double check about products of absolute X and Y, absolute Y equal to negative uh, X and Y, we have values. So the only strategy works here, just plug in the value, plug in negative three and three and try the numbers. But from first side, we must notice that this side is positive. Why? For both absolute value, positive times positive is positive. Negative times negative is Uh, positive and positive times positive is positive negative times positive is negative so both sides is positive must be positive at least to be positive x or y should be one negative the other is positive one negative the other is positive which one of the option satisfy x positive 
and y negative, y negative, or x positive. The both variables has an opposite sign. This is the same sign, not working. Not working, same sign, positive, positive, negative, negative, not working. Negative, positive answer is D directly. Okay? This is the best method, I think, and not take one minute at most. Try to double check after solve. If you have a time make like this, already we solve it D. Both X equals three, so the answer of uh, right hand, left hand side is two by three is six positive. The same here, negative two by three is negative six, negative six of negative positive six. Both are, both sides are positive. This is right. So number D in five is the best answer. For all real numbers, so we have number six. All real numbers, x, and for x, negative absolute x, that means we have negative, it, it, the same equal like this, plus absolute x, just we solve it, you look, you see, just convert x like this, okay, and make it like absolute, it's the same here, because See, this is will get out with positive one. The best answer is 2x. Why we didn't take d? Why d is wrong? Okay, finish, we finish the problem. We check about d. If we choose d, that means the answer here should be 2x. If x real numbers should be, maybe take a negative one. So in some cases we'll get out negative. Both absolute give us positive. The absolute value concept means the number without sign, okay? Number without what? Without sign. So the number should be positive without sign. So cannot take 2x because 2x may be negative in some cases. We have assumption here. All, all real numbers, we have assumption to be negative in some cases. Okay, so, so must be E only, not D. Number seven for this one, it's so easy, so easy, I think. We cannot use calculator here unless you don't know about this one. This one should be positive 16. Why? Absolute L4, negative four is four. And take power two like a parenthesis here, uh, absolute or modulus works like Francis. So 4 power 2 is 16, B square is what? This minus, and this should be positive when get out negative 1 from here. So B cube, the only right option is in number 7 is C. You see? Exactly. Very easy, not even take 30 seconds. Also here, the same assumption, the same um, uh, view of point here, real numbers may be negative or positive, okay, positive or negative. So this must be look like what? This get out like negative one, get out by absolute like this, okay? Because we separate the absolute. So first term is, Two absolute x cannot say two x because sometimes x is negative. So cannot say like this, must say like this. This is positive one, okay? And the other term is the same exactly. You see, two absolute x. What happened with two look like the same? Yes, get our two here. So absolute x minus absolute x, two absolute x minus two absolute x must be a. Number eight is A. The last problem we have today about the concept of the uh, uh, absolute. We have number nine, the solution set of which of the following equation is the set of real numbers are equal of three units, three units from negative seven are equal. This is follow the concept of 
absolute value exactly. What does it mean, this problem? We, 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 we can solve it directly in, in less than one minute. You see, how come? Equal three, because R. Okay, then I will explain, explain the uh, conception or concepts or interpretation the concept here. So, far from X by negative seven, so negative, negative seven in the absolute. So we have only this part X minus minus seven is plus seven equals three. The answer is number E. So this is the answer less than one minute. We must understand about the concept, how it represents the concept, this problem. He means that we have a variable far from X and each time by, by steps negative seven and each time he move three steps equals three. If we solve it, it should be equal to three. So we are far from negative seven in this side or at negative seven and we move both the three in the right in the, uh, uh, in the to the right option, okay? We have three steps should be equal three here at three, or maybe negative three as well. So from the concept, if we want to check this part, x minus minus seven should be x plus seven absolute, because we are not sure we are on the right, finally. We are on the right here, or we are here on the left. On the left here or in the right. This is follow the concept, exactly. I hope you found this chapter is very easy. Uh, and sure, inshallah, we'll continue with the other chapter. Next chapter is exponent and radicals. Okay, next uh, chapter. See you in the next episode very, very soon. Bye, dear students. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.